Welcome to Fearless FODMAP. I'm gonna teach you how to make hollandaise. And this is actually gonna be the first video in a short series where I teach you how to make all five of the French mother sauces, lactose-free, not dairy-free, lactose-free, gluten-free, and low FODMAP. And I'm gonna show you the hollandaise today on Eggs Benedict. Really quickly how I poached the eggs sous vide it makes it so easy literally all you do is sous vide your eggs at 145 for 50 minutes so before even starting the hollandaise i've got that done there we go you kind of want to be gentle when you when you release the egg but i mean the eggs are vacuum sealed already they come vacuum sealed in nature how great is that it's really easy to make hollandaise so i have a little double boiler mechanism going here. Nothing's on quite yet. You take a quarter of a lemon. Oh, by the way, this is for one. This is hollandaise for one. Um, a lot of recipes, they have hollandaise for larger groups of people, and that's fine if you're doing like a big brunch, but it's very wasteful if, you know, you're just making it for yourself. Okay, this is ghee. This is from Fourth and Heart. This stuff is salted already. So um, you would add salt to this if you're using a ghee that doesn't have salt, but uh, this stuff, which I highly recommend for this application, comes salted. You can find this at Whole Foods, and you can probably find it at a couple other places too. It's expensive, but you're very much getting what you pay for with this brand. The cheap ghees from like Trader Joe's, to be honest, they just kinda fucking suck. So here's how we do this. We take this. This is approximately one ounce. What you want is a quarter of a lemon and one ounce. Take this and microwave it. I'm telling you, this is easy, simple. A monkey could fucking do this. This requires an egg yolk. Take two little dishes. Separate the yolk from the white. Gently, gently, get as much of the white away from the yolk as you can. And some people are even as maniacal as to really pull that little thread off. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Okay, separated. I'm going to get that warming up a little bit. We're going to check on our ghee just over an ounce, but I can pour off the excess. I recommend some kinds of hand heat protector. Quarter of a lemon, one egg yolk, whisk. Once you start, you do not stop. This is the key here. Just keep going and you wanna make sure you're not scrambling your eggs. You want the heat kinda low. And the way I do this, is the ghee is not usually super hot by the time I add it, and the egg and lemon juice mixture is not super hot when I'm adding this. So typically what happens is it comes together really nicely, and then I have to kind of keep it in there and keep it stirring to warm it up a little bit. That's typically what ends up happening. I highly recommend having easy access to some tasting spoons while you do this. You're tasting for flavor, but you're more so assessing heat. So this tastes great, but we're not quite warm enough. And I would rather stand here for a minute longer, stirring and getting it nice and warm while it being perfect, as opposed to go a little bit too hot too fast, but save some time and then have a completely broken mixture. People will kind of struggle with this because of the whole heat element. Basically, you'll scramble your eggs, and when the egg and lemon juice mixture kind of scramble and curdle up, the fat from the ghee will separate. You'll have lemony curdled eggs inside a soup of fat. But this method has been pretty fail-safe for me. As long as I'm okay with standing over this for a minute, it's gonna take a little bit of time, you might stand over here after you've combined it 
for like five or so minutes, but it's okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna taste great. Your efforts are going to pay off. You just wanna keep monitoring your mixture. We're getting there. It's super lemony, super, super lemony. See how it's starting to behave a little differently? It's starting to tighten up. That means we're getting close. And I'm just gonna call it right here. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, it's perfect. Oh, yes. See how the stuff at the bottom, at the, at the very end, starts to really tighten up? Yeah, this is done. This is done. I would not recommend salting this, but I would recommend peppering it. Oh my God, it's perfect. All right, let me get a bite with some serious hollandaise. You don't need to go to brunch. If you wanna go to snooze for Benedict's, homie, fuck that. You can do it yourself. <laughs> if you wanna go for their pancakes, that's a different thing. Snooze's restaurant in Denver, big with the brunch women. You know what I'm talking about when I talk about the brunch women. You know what I'm talking about. If you do this, which you can, you saw me do it, you can do it yourself. Just gotta set your shit up, have a little bit of patience, and don't go too heavy on the heat. That's all you gotta do. If you can follow directions and do that, congratulations, you have made one of the five French mother sauces. Lactose-free, gluten-free, and low FODMAP. It's amazing. You are one fifth of the way through the sauce portion of cooking school. You absolutely need to go make this for yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you wanna see me do other videos in the future, if you have specific ideas, please leave a comment down below. If you tried this, let me know how it went. If you're having trouble with any of my recipes, just hit me up in the comments below. If you wanna see more videos like this, I am going to have the rest of the five mother sauces coming up in the future after this. So you should definitely stay tuned and subscribe to see more of that. I'm gonna see if I can put those in a separate playlist. Until next time, have a nice day and enjoy.